Hey guys, so it's time for the full review of Android 9.0p on the Motorola Moto Z and the Moto Z is the first smartphone to receive the unofficial port thanks to Project Rebel and a great thanks to the developer for porting it from Pixel XL I'm gonna show all the Android P features really quick and then I will be showing you what the developer has added for the Motorola Moto Z on this custom firmware and then we will talk about the bugs and how to solve them so starting things with what's new in the Android P developer preview 3. So first off we have the brand new quick setting tiles. The battery icon is moved to the right hand side and the clock is on the left hand side with the date on bottom. So this is the brand new quick setting tiles. You can also select users from there. So you can select guest and owner and you can also add new users to this profile. We have the settings icon right here. We will talk about the settings later on. First, let me show you the lock screen. And this is the lock screen. It is having a glance widget, which is something nice. And the fingerprint sensor is also working. It is really quick. Here we go. The speed of the fingerprint sensor is same. There is no difference after the installation of Android 9.0p. And, and this is the brand new power menu. As you can see we have the power off, restart, screenshot and emergency and this is the new notification pop-up menu which looks great I think. So this is the new notification bar. You can clear all and you can manage notifications from here. You can also share, edit and delete the notification. We also have the new volume keys but I really hope in future Google adds more option to this because it is not useful at all as of now. I really want Google to add the ringer volume and the notification sound as well. This only controls the media volume. And starting the second Android P preview, Google has added the new swipe gestures. So here we go. You can enable the swipe gestures from settings. I will show you in a few seconds how to enable this thing on the Motorola Moto Z. So this is something nice. And you can also drag the navigation key from here to select between the applications let me show you so here we go something nice I think and the DP3 also comes with clear all recent menus so here we go this is the launcher you get along with the Android P DP3 on the Motorola Moto Z so we have all the applications I'm gonna show you all the applications really quick first off calculator it is working great calendar it is also working there is nothing wrong with this applications next we have the chrome which is also working and clock working great contacts is working drive files files is also working and one thing i want to show you is that in order to get the google services chrome and all the google applications working you need to install these two applications the first one is google play store i will leave all the link in the below description box the second one is the play services so you will need to install these versions of google play store and play services in order to get all the things working correctly so the files is also working next we have the gmail which is working great the google which is also working Maps is also working, the location is working fine, Wi-Fi is working fine and I have also inserted the SIM card right here. So I am going to open the mobile data really quick. So internet is also working, let me show you. There we go. Even it is a developer preview 3 but it is working properly fine on the Moto Z. Next thing worth noticing is that there is no Motorola camera application working on this smartphone and this firmware does not feature any camera application. So I manually installed the open camera application which is also working fine. Let me show you. As you can see we have tons of options in the open camera application and you can download it from the play store. So it is working fine. You can also install the Google camera which is also working great according to all the Roam users. Next we have the phone dialer. Working great. No problems at all. Play movies, play music, play store. 
I've installed the open camera from play store only so it is also working fine I've installed the TWRP recovery from the recovery application from the recovery menu and the YouTube is also working fine so there is no application which is not working but again you will need to install these two applications I mentioned before in order to get everything working fine so we have the settings menu right here and one thing worth noticing in the settings is that you cannot open the tips and support that is going to close the settings menu but overall it is working fine and we have all the new features is the display menu sounds storage 14% used as you can see it is not taking much space you can also add accounts and Google services that's open system now we have gestures so in order to open these swipe gestures you have to enable this you can also get the navigation keys back and in order to get the swipe gestures you can just enable it from the settings and gesture menu a major thing worth noticing is that we have the moto modes and moto gestures in which no more to gesture works i tried double twist but it is not working i also tried chop chop for flashlight but it is not working at all so these things are not working but the fingerprint s key is working totally fine you can also select the fingerprint to do a particular task like open the home button or open the power button next we have the moto modes and according to the developer only battery mode works fine so the moto modes is likely not working on this Android P firmware maybe in future he will add support for all the moto modes but as of now only the battery mode is working and I don't have any moto mode right here I only have this style shell so here is the Android version which is 9 it was revealed with the Android DP3 and it has the June 5 2018 security patch which is the latest as of now and the kernel version is 3.18.17 lineage os so kernel is based on lineage os because i think the modo z lineage os supports project rebel so using this kernel version i think he was able to install and port the dp3 from pixel xl and the build number is triple p3 which denotes that it is the developer preview 3 and it's not like that it is the perfect firmware available there are a few bugs which i'm going to mention right now so first off is that the dark theme is not working properly as you can see I've installed the dark wallpaper which means this smartphone will show the dark theme but it is not working great it is showing the green menu on the power button as well and on the quick setting tiles as well so it is showing inverted color I think let me try one thing here no it is not showing inverted color but and it is a bug definitely so i'm gonna switch to my favorite wallpaper really quick to get the beautiful quick setting tiles working properly next bug i notice is that whenever you will connect your moto z running android p to the usb cable while charging or while data syncing it will make the brightness full i mean it will go up to 100 percent next thing is that the flashlight is not working at all so it is disabled right here you won't be able to open the flashlight via the quick setting tiles or via the chop chop for flashlight so you can download a particular application from the play store in order to get the flashlight working but it is not working as of now and the major bug i notice is that the voice over lt is not working at all that means you won't be able to use your reliance geo sim card to make and receive calls the internet over LT is working properly fine but you won't be able to make calls using the Moto Z with Android P custom firmware. As you can see I made a call and it is showing the call ended so you won't be able to use VoLTE services on the Moto Z with Android P. And I cannot say that it is the perfect firmware there are a minor lags definitely after the first reboot or whenever you will restart your smartphone it is going to take some time to open all the applications and after that it is going to show that the android p beta program and sometimes it also shows the android p completing setup menu which i have to force close every time definitely it is not faster than the stock oreo room but it is smooth there is no major lags and the battery is also pretty consistent there was no abnormal battery issues the network is also great 
So that's all with the review of the Android 9.0 OP on the Moto Z. The developer is going to port a DP4 and the DP5 and maybe the final version of Android P. So you have the developer guys, go support him. I think he will port the future Android release. I think Motorola is not going to officially launch Android 9.0 OP for the Moto Z. So you have to depend on the custom firmwares only. The Moto Z has already received two major updates, Android Marshmallow to Nougat and Nougat to Oreo. And I think Motorola is also going to update it to Android 8.1. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and peace out.